Hey guys, so today I have got the next witch box to show you. Um, I think that this is the June box because the last one I had was the May one. If you haven't seen me open this before, they do ship it worldwide but it is different prices. So to the UK it's £29 including shipping. To Europe it's £20.83 excluding shipping and to the rest of the world it's £38 including shipping. So I will put all of that information down below in case you want to go and check them out but we are just going to open this i haven't seen what's in here yet so we'll open it together so right on the top when you open it up it says magical secrets lie within exclusive and hand-picked items brought to you by witch box www.witchbox.co.uk um and then got some black tissue paper okay so it is the June box. This is a little leaflet right on the top that says your June box. Um, this month we have themed the box Green Witch. A green witch can be defined as a witch who draws heavily from the power of the earth and nature. They prefer to use resources from Mother Earth including plants, flowers and oils. A green witch loves practicing their crafts outdoors from small urban gardens to wild forests. Blessings. It also says, please know our boxes are suitable for vegetarians and we use recyclable or eco-friendly packaging wherever possible. So. That is the front and then in here it does tell us all about all the different items in the box i'm not going to read off that because i'm just going to show you but i will keep it here just in case i want to kind of like refer back to this so that is what is in here then you get one of these cards in them as well which tells you um kind of how to use the witch box through the month so it says week one week two week three week four i'll hold it up just in case anyone wants to read it but obviously if you don't have the box it is sort of aimed towards this but i know some people like to pause and read so that is that and then the first item right on the top is a spell so this is a peaceful home charm bag spell um, and it says this kit contains everything you need to conduct this charm devised by our resident English witch. This peaceful charm kit is full of natural ingredients and will help you bring calm to your household. So I will open it and we can see what is in here. Okay, so we've got a little instructions which I will hold up in a second. We've got a blue charm bag some rose petals, some lavender blossom, and some flaxseed. So we've got these three herbs or flowers, whatever you want to call them. And then this is the instructions, just in case anyone wants to do this at home. So that is the Peaceful Home Charm Bag spell. Then next we have some Magical Flower Blend. At first I thought that this was a loose leaf tea but it is actually um, just a blend of flowers. So it says use this magical blend of rose petals, thyme, chamomile and other dried botanicals for spell casting, spell bottles or to decorate your altar. This blend will work best for love, money and courage magic. It does say do not consume on there. So just a little pouch of dried flowers. Then next we have, oh we do have some tea in here. Okay, so we do have a little um, loose leaf tea. This one is Merlin's Earl Grey tea. Um, I don't love loose leaf tea honestly i don't love like flavored teas and stuff but they always seem to put them in witch boxes because it's like herbal and things so i do understand but i never really use these um so this says a magical blend of black tea and botanicals add two to three grams to boiling water and let stand for t for three to four minutes so this has a black tea marrow and aroma it says and that is what that one looks like a pouch of tea then next we've got some incense sticks again i don't really use incense sticks honestly but these are lavender ones and it says that there's approximately 20 sticks and they smell super super strong i don't mind the smell of lavender it is quite nice but i just don't like the smoke that incense give off so 
we have those anyway. Then next we have some honeysuckle soap. It says green witches are always getting their hands dirty. Use this magical soap for cleansing. So there is two little kind of like flower shaped yellow mini soaps in there. I'm gonna open this and have a smell. Sorry if you can hear all the weird noises from outside. It's super hot here today, so I've got the windows open. Oh, that smells really good actually. Very, very floral, but it is also a really nice smell. So we've got two of those. And then next we have this little green roll. So I will open this and see what is in here. Oh, it's bubble wrapped. I think it's an oil from what I can see. Oh yeah, a eucalyptus essential oil it says. For cleansing, purification and protection magic. So it's 100% natural and pure essential oil. You can um, add it to a burner or a diffuser or something like that. I'm sure there is a lot of different uses for eucalyptus oil. I think, I might be wrong, I'm not sure if it's eucalyptus or not, but I'm pretty sure that if you don't want um, spiders in your house, then eucalyptus oil is like a, a repellent as well. I know a lot of oils are, like lavender and stuff. Smells pretty good. Um, I do use a lot, away from the rabbit chili, I do use a lot of essential oils around windows and stuff to try and deter the big fangy UK spiders that we get. So there is that one. Then next we have a little crystal in a bag and it comes with a card as well. This is a green aventurine, apparently. Um, I'll get it out and show you first. It's a very unusual tumbled shape. It's kind of pointy long so for this it says it's a type of quartz that contains fusite particles maybe i probably absolutely butchered that um, which gives it a distinct green color this stone can be used for confidence courage and hope and it's known as a lucky stone um, gamblers might like to keep green aventurine in their pockets but it can also attract luck on any occasion you may need it as a lucky stone it can attract wealth and success and is sometimes used in money spells it has a soothing energy try holding it in your hand to enhance meditation so that is our stone for this month then we have a few little bits at the bottom so we've got i think this is an art print um it says it's easy being green it's got a little moon design with some herbs around it it's kind of like a postcard kind of size then we have the witch of the forest guide to earth magic uh earth spell bag for prosperity i think this is just a little spell card possibly it could be used as an a little art print if you wanted but it does have a spell on the back so i will hold it up just in case anyone wants to read that i know they're always super tiny but if you do pause the video you can usually zoom in on them and then we've got this little wrapped up plaque kind of thing oh that's cute so um it says what's happening here right okay so it's on a little string it says magical herb drying rack and then it's got holes down here and it's got this extra string so i'm going to assume that you kind of like loop it through these holes and you can tie the herbs down here to dry them out if you want to so that is very cute so the little sheet says your very own witch's herb drying rack has been created by us for you after gathering flowers and herbs such as lavender mint or sage tie on with the twine provided and leave to dry these dried herbs can be used in your spells magical flower blends or creating smudge sticks so that's pretty cute it's a very unusual thing i feel like i have never had one of these before so that is a nice little thing then we have a little sticker sheet i'm going to assume that these are supposed to be labels because that's what they kind of look like they have sort of a filigree flowy sort of design around them 
Yes, it says exclusive magical herb labels. Many green witches have a wide range of herbs ready to be used in their craft. To help you organize your witch's pantry, write the corresponding herb on these labels. That's pretty cute, just a little sticker sheet. And then the last item I believe is our Book of Shadows page. So I will open this up. I do like that they use a little tiny band and not a sticker like Witch Casket because it always ruins that page. So this one is Nature's Pantry. Um, it's got information about nettles, daisies and cleavers actually never heard of a cleaver before i will hold this up again just in case anyone wants to read so that's, oh, that one's nettles and then we've got cleavers down here and daisies over here so yeah that was everything in the witch box for june i will quickly grab it all and show you all together at once so we had the little herb label sticker sheet the earth magic little book card with the spell on the back the it's easy being green art print the magical herb drying rack protection home charm bag spell the magical flower blend the merlin's earl grey tea the lavender incense sticks, the little green aventurine, the book of shadows page, the honeysuckle soaps, and the eucalyptus oil. So all of these things in the June witch box. I think this one was a tiny little bit more empty than the May box. The May box had a lot of items in it with the big wooden pentagram and stuff. Um, but still quite a cute box though. I do like the herb drying rack. I think that's a really unique kind of thing. Um, I will use the oil and stuff. So yeah, I did really like this one. Um, green witch stuff isn't really my personal favourite stuff. I'm not really into herbs and flowers and things. So I think personally this box just wasn't a me kind of box. But it still was really nice though. So you'll have to let me know what you thought of this one down below. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye guys.